So shortly after I had rebuilt my oscilloscope, I was watching one of my uh, favorite YouTube channels, a guy named Techmon, and I was following uh, a follow-up to one of his pieces of stereo equipment where he had what was basically uh, a built-in oscilloscope that ran in XY mode. I was one of the people who, who commented on that with some other folks and basically long story short is he was talking about uh basically uh, a third party as as we move forward in his video a guy named uh Gerald Beam Fenderson who makes music uh that when using that music in the left and right channels of a device such as this uh tablet through an amplifier like this into the oscilloscope will actually produce uh, images along with the picture. And, and, and you can see him uh, displaying it here. He's a, you know, there he is. So he goes and he, he gets an oscilloscope and, and sets it up. And, you know, he gets an oscilloscope going and then he goes and, and takes this guy's uh, um, uh, sound files and he pumps it through. And as, as you could expect, uh, he, he does uh, uh, a fantastic job displaying it. So I said to myself, I said, self, uh, since I've I've restored this um, uh, uh, Heathkit oscilloscope, why don't I go over to this guy's uh, YouTube page and and uh, run those uh, uh, signals through here, and then I'm, I'm going to have to hit the pause button on this. Sorry about that. And and run the signals through here and see what those uh, videos look like on. On this oscilloscope, and I'll I'll, I'll put links to uh, uh, Gerald Beam uh, Fenderson's uh, uh, YouTube page, and also to Techmon's page uh, that that provided the inspiration for me to do this. You know, it seemed almost like perfect timing that I'd finish restoring this oscilloscope, and then somebody would come up, you know, with a video like this to actually have like you know, you know, pictures display on the oscilloscope that comes from the music itself. You know, this sort of gives you an idea of what it looks like. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. I'm going to point out that I'm not going to be driving the sound from the output tubes. It would be ridiculous to do that. Uh, at the same time, I'm not going to be driving it from the output of this pad. It would be uh, extremely low signal. Uh, some could argue that that is sufficient. Uh, then we couldn't hear it. And I, I really don't have anything to set it up to sit there and splice the, the very small amount of signal coming out of this. Uh, feed it to my uh, little crappy uh, 8 ohm speaker up there and out there. So I'm running it through the sample fire feeds to the 8 ohm, the uh, 100 watt brick back there for the other channel. Uh, but both channels will be tapped off right here on the phase inverters. And from the phase inverters, it'll come out here. That'll also mean a lot lower distortion. I'm not going to have to sit here and match uh, um, the uh, um, the bias on the output tubes and way back because just the littlest thing on these xy's is going to distort this uh, uh visual representation here it has to be absolutely perfect for all this to work obviously and and clipping off here at the phase inverters is obviously going to make that a lot easier to do so i have done so this will also allow me to increase the amplitude uh or the the size of the picture both x and y by increasing the volume here because that does have uh, a net effect over here. So let me get set up and see if I could find a way to have this camera stationary so I'm not sitting here wobbling it while I'm trying to display these things. I've had to move the um, the uh, uh, connections on the ST70 to the other side of the phase inverters because the picture was coming out upside down. So uh, that was the only change I had to make. Let me start. Hey you guys, I want to show you something amazing. We can see exactly the same wave that we're hearing at the same time on both audio channels and use them to draw with sound. Oscilloscope. Or butterflies. Or the Death Star. 
but that doesn't really sound like music. Or does it? myself a little there. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna do. I will make an entire audiovisual oscilloscope album for you. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You will also get the complete software package to experiment with. But I need your help. You can make this happen. If you support my crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter.
So I clicked on the modern oscilloscope here to give you an idea what it looks like. You know, this is the uh, the hand tech in X Y mode. It's not it's not very pretty. In, in fairness, it's not really designed to do this. Is what we're seeing. You know, there's the uh, there's the heat kit. There's a hand tech. It doesn't you know it has a refresh rate obviously, and it's not it's not going to be as good as analog. This sort of gives us a picture of what's going on here. You know, from the YouTube feed. And that's basically what's being demonstrated. So, you work with you got you could do uh, um, uh, vectors or dots. Here's one called blocks. And we can see a building right here on this one, and you can see a building here as well. But yeah, it, it's not impressive on on the digital scope. It pretty much looks like it does on the YouTube video. Is what it looks like on here. But yeah, that's about it. That's as much as I'm going to do on the hand tack as far as checking this out goes. Another thing I want to point out, let me let me pause this for a second. Um, when when I uh, connect the oscilloscope to uh, the tubes the way I'm doing this, this high impedance connections here, uh, differences within the circuitry of the oscilloscope, be it this oscilloscope or that oscilloscope, is going to cause... Um, without without getting too involved i'm basically going to end up with with different values for the signals unless i used uh the same exact leads to check both tubes which is impossible because it's in xy mode so it's not going to be balanced so circles aren't going to be perfect and squares are not going to be perfect circles can be oval squares can be rectangular there is going to be distortion that distortion is also going to be displayed or 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 exhibited on the output which would be audio you know as well as uh, uh, harmonic distortion would be exhibited as well. You know, for the purpose of this demonstration, it really doesn't matter. If I were measuring, you know, uh, both sides of this, obviously I wouldn't be doing something uh, like this to take a measurement. You know, if I were if I were measuring uh, both phases, I, I definitely wouldn't be sticking the oscilloscope uh, probes on both sides of here because obviously one would be higher than the other because of the oscilloscope probes that just wouldn't work. But this isn't a video about amplifiers, this is just a video about having fun. So I just wanted to point out why there is some distortion uh, that's being uh, displayed in here. I didn't use an optimal point to uh, tap into to do this. I just used the easiest one to, to get it done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.